Good morning, my YouTube family. I thought I'd bring you along this morning as I do a little cleaning in my kitchen. You know, when you're younger, that dishwasher is important to you. I've gotten older now, and I've been in this apartment for almost a year. And I've used my dishwasher maybe twice. It's just not that important to me anymore. Some things that are, are important to you when you're younger, when you reach a certain age, those things are no longer important to you. You get to a point where you just don't care about some things. <laughs> You just, you really don't. You just kind of like go, okay, oh well, whatever. And this Sunday morning, I'm 63. Just turned 63 on February 16th. And I just want to thank everybody who sent me warm birthday wishes almost everybody and when I say almost I think some people who sent me birthday wishes really know they could have kept them because when you live in your life and you're doing stuff for people over and over and over and you're getting your kicks and your thrills from it because you know you causing them discomfort and pain and you getting them to, to be beat and whooped and carrying on and you think it's so funny and even when you grow up you know you didn't get so many thrills from that you don't know how to stop it that's because that's who you are. That's who you are. You have a demonic spirit. And that's who you are. So, when you come back. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to give you all a demonstration before I say this next thing. I'm going to give you a demonstration. You see this sheet of paper? You see that? Now let me open this paper back up for you. You know, if I took this sheet of paper and I put an urn to it and earned it out, it's never never going to be the way it was in the beginning. It's never going to get as straight as it was in the beginning. Never. So when you do stupid things to folks in your youth and in your adulthood and even over into your senior years and then you come back and you say you're sorry, your sorrows mean nothing. They mean absolutely nothing. And you know why? Because you're really not sorry. You're not. And you know you're not. Let me help you understand some. People are really not truly sorry. What they are is they want to get you back under their spell because they no longer have control of you. They no longer have access to you. So they feel like if they get you back under their spell, under their control, by saying, I'm sorry, and you fall for it, then they can get you back under control. Let me send a warning. 
to all of those folks who want to come with the I'm sorry and know that they're not truly sorry. God told me to warn you. Everything that you have done to someone and you come back after years thinking that you can say, I'm sorry. Knowing that you're not sorry, knowing what you're doing, knowing you're just trying to get that person under your control and spell again. He says, what you've done to them is going to be done to you seven times over. So I would be careful if I were you. When you sit back, steady plotting and planning, I would be real careful if I were you. That's why I don't want to be around you. No one need you. Because in 2019, when God came to me three nights in a dream and told me what to do and told me what was going on, he said it was over. He meant it. The people don't. They don't come back after years because they sorry. They don't seek you when they haven't been seeking you before because they sorry. They're only seeking you because they realize whatever they had going on is no longer working in their favor. <laughs> you know, some people will leave you standing in the pouring rain. Pouring rain. On a cold winter's day while laughing in your face driving away. And for some stupid reason, expect you to be in that same place when they return. They'll return don't see you standing there and be shocked. But then they'll drive away again laughing. <laughs> That's how some people are in life. They think that they can just return time after time after time to see what else they can do to you. But then when they finally realize, you changed because you've moved on. You've moved on and you don't care about their little silly games, their little silly plots and their little silly ploys. But you're still standing and somehow or another, you found your peace and you found your joy. They can't understand because they thought everything that they did to you was gonna destroy you. When people are doing you wrong, you remember your thoughts are not like their thoughts.